Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and today's lesson or tangle pattern is frost, and it's a beautiful pattern, and and I hate to admit that I can't remember who did this post, who did this pattern. Um, I've seen it on Helen Williams and Carol O and several but I couldn't find who had actually originated this pattern but it's a fun pattern and everyone does it just a little different you can see I've done it on a black tile with a white jelly roll beautiful tango done just on a, a little circle tile here I have added a little shading and some gold and I'm not sure that you can if the gold shows up very good, but I've got also some gold um, jelly roll accents that I've added along the believe and within the tangle. So I'll set these aside and I'm just going to show you how I accomplish this particular tangle. I start out with an X because I only want six sides on my um, little frost, which could be, you know, a snowflake tangle, if you want it to be. And then I come across this direction, giving me that asterisk. And you can do several of these and then come back and fill in. That's what I did on, on the Believe. I did several of these and then came back and filled them in. But we're just going to start by filling in this one. And we want to go the same direction. We're going to fill in each one of these six sections. And we're going to go the same direction as our lines. So I'm just going to aura or echo that line. And my lines are deliberately different lengths. I'm going to zoom in on this so you can get a better view. And you notice that I left a little sparkle right here. Okay, I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to go this direction. And then rotate my tile and along this line and I do like to kind of get shorter as I go out so that it has kind of a stopping point there and then I just do this around all six sides. Very, very light touch with your pen gives it a better effect. So you just want to really give that pen just a very light touch. And if you get some skipping in your pen, that even kind of makes it a little bit more lighter or frostier. And I really like that little sparkle in there that gives it a little light. So, and then I'm going to put my second one. Remember, I want to do an X and then my line so I have it divided into six areas and then I'm going to start my aura or echo this time I'm going to bump right up against the one I just did my lines are going to stop right there I 
and isn't that just a fun beautiful tangle one more here then I'm going to scan out a little bit and then I'm going to show you that um, how I shade this particular one I find it very important that I don't skip around that I go once I determined where I start I continue to go all the way around I found me making mistakes on my tangle if I would st stop and then come back and or I do one here and then come back here I just made mistakes so if you go all the way around in order and I'm going counterclockwise and now I'm going to shade these so I'm going to just shade I think I'm going to use a, um, a color pencil today because and I'm just picked up one of my Prisma color. This is slate blue, and I'm going to sharpen it. And I always sharpen with a hand sharpener. I never use a, a motorized sharpener. And now I'm going to come back and anywhere where my lines began, I'm going to put a little blue there. So on this side. So that's the direction I'm going to sh shade. So I should have six, you know, just follow that little spoke, but I want it on the side where my lines begin because I'm going to go this direction with it. And you can see I'm not putting down much um, color pencil. And I have um, several brands of color pencils. I have um, Ink Tense, Prisma, um, Rembrandt. I have several different brands of color pencils. And I like them all. And I did have a comment on asking me about um, Ink Tense. They're water soluble pencils. And I used. Um, an odorless paint thinner to blend them. This is what I use is odorless paint thinner put in a little tiny jar like this and I've tried water but I don't really like um, I mean water's okay but I like the control of the um, that I get. Matter of fact I bought me some let's see if I can find them water brushes and I don't see them here and I try those and I didn't like how it worked with my shading stump I get more control than you do with the water brush it's a little stiffer so I'm just going to put a little um, odorless paint there and you can see it's changed the color of my um, shading stump looks like this little vial is about empty so I'm just going to put a little bit more odorless paint thinner in there so I have a little bit more in there and now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to blend this blue out and it's going to blend out we're going to get a little bit of change in the paper color. It's going to darken also, but it will dry and lighten up. And my, my ink was a little bit damp. I usually wait for my ink to dry. Maybe not enough pigment put down there 
We'll just go ahead and put a little bit more. There we go. We just want to give it that little frost look. And blend out that line so it doesn't show. If I if you don't put down enough color pencil, you're not gonna get as much of a blending. Put down a little bit more. And you can see you can go right over it. So before I do these, I think I'm gonna just I'm going to just thicken that up a little bit. I was a little lax on it. Sometimes I really don't know how much color I want to blend out. But what I want is I don't want to really see the line. I want it to kind of just fade into nothing. And there we have um, shaded it with colored pencil. Now you can let this dry and it needs to dry a little bit or it will um, soften the ink in the Prisma pen. So this is on a, so then I can come back and just add, I'm just gonna add some little black dots just out here on the edge just for some drama and interest. And I read a post, what is drama? Where did that come from? I've used it for a long time. If you go back and look at my old videos, I have used, I love the, the contrast. So when I say drama, I mean contrast between light, medium, and dark. And the drama, the dark, um, creates that drama. And then I'm going to put just a few right in the center here, just for a little bit more movement. And there we have frost, and it could be, you know, a snowflake design. If you're looking for, that's what I wanted to achieve here, is that snowflake design. And I just shaded it with a gray pencil. Here, there are no shading, and I went in and I just did in the crevices just little tiny round circles. And here also, I just did some little dots. Have fun with um, frost, and um, if you're looking for some note cards to do, you can get those at inkadoodles.com at the store. And um, I hope you have a great frosty season here in Utah. It's cold, but no snow yet. And we're really hoping for um, some snow, but the forecast says we're dry for 10 more days. That's always a little scary. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.